Hi, off-grid creationist Russ Miller here. I'm standing here with what we call a widow maker. Our cabin down in this volcanic crater in northern Arizona is surrounded by huge gamble oak trees, which we love, some of them 60 plus feet tall, but they get dead limbs in them and you have to take care of that because if a 40 or 50 pound limb like this were to fall off on somebody, well, henceforth the name widow maker. But my friends, that's not what I wanted to talk about. Have you wondered what in the world is up with all of the vile name calling, especially in government and throughout media today? In my last video, we talked about the baffling things occurring today. We talked about Saul Alinsky, the original community organizer, and how his stated goal was to create enough chaos to cause Western civilization to implode upon itself. So what's that got to do with all the name calling? Well, the community organizer's job, per Alinsky's book, Rules for Radicals, is to cause division between people, dividing us by race, religion, income, gender, anything they can get us opposed to one another over, in order to lead groups to end the various conflicts caused by the community organizer by compromising toward the far left radical position. But what about people who refuse to compromise? Well, that's where the name calling comes in. The ultimate weapon against non-compromisers, according to the original community organizer himself, is name calling. Call them a racist, a homophobe, stupid, deplorable, etc. And, and why does this hurt the non-compromiser? Because amazingly, most people fear being called names, so they will back away and leave the non-compromiser standing alone with their principles completely marginalized. And these rules for radicals have found their way deep into the institutionalized Christian church as well. This should be of no surprise to believers as Jesus warned us of tares among the wheat, of false teachers, and of false Christs in the last days. Today, if you believe in the biblical version of Jesus Christ who created in six days and judged the world with a flood that covered all the high hills under the whole heaven, you will be called, and I speak from 21 years of experience, stupid, ignorant, unscientific, an embarrassment to Christianity, mean, haughty, arrogant, and the ultimate, unloving. And you'll be left standing alone with God's word, totally marginalized. Now, as Jesus prophetically said, if they call the master of the house Beelzebub, how much more will they call his servants? Wow! And take comfort in that long before rules for radicals existed, these things were laid out in the Bible so that in Jesus Christ we would find peace, for he has overcome the world. So, is this part of the continuing war between God and Satan? And who are some of today's best known community organizers? And where is God in all of this? Well, I'll pick this up in our next Off-Grid Creationist video because that's what we need to talk about. Hi, I'm the Off-Grid Creationist Russ Miller. Thank you for watching today's video. Hey, if you'd like to help us get this information to others, please subscribe and share the video. You can also go to our website and find all sorts of great resources we have put out. Or you can even click the button below if you'd like to partner with us, and we'd appreciate that as well. Hey, thanks again. Hope to see you in another video soon.